starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. with a big race. Yeah, today's perfect flying weather. These birds should have no trouble maintaining an average speed of about 45 miles an hour. Gee, Dad, Lady Bird will have to hit a faster pace than that tomorrow. She's going to be competing with 200 birds in a 100-mile race. All this concern about Lady Bird. What about Goldwing? He's in the race, too, you know. I know. That's Lassie's problem. Goldwing's her pigeon. I still believe that Lady Bird's a stronger flyer than her brother. <laughs> well, apparently Lassie doesn't agree with you. Lassie, you believe in your pigeon, and I'll believe in mine. Timmy and I'll see you later. All right, we'll be watching for you, won't we, Lassie? Lassie? Now, let's not start this again. You have a very important job. You have to stay here and signal the birds in. And my job is to give them the toss. Well, maybe Lassie wants to make sure that Goldwing gets a fair toss. Mom! Lassie doesn't have to worry about that. <coughs> well, you don't, you know. Well, let's get moving. We've got quite a ride ahead of us. Okay, Dad. Bye, Mom. Goodbye, dear. in tip-top condition. Ready? Go! Fly straight! Something's wrong, Poe? Oh, uh, let's not get excited. They'll be appearing any minute. Maybe they're just hitting a slower pace than usual, that's all. I suggest we go over to the loft, huh? Dad? Yes? What time is it? Hmm, it's exactly 9.15. and I'll be blind. Do you think something could have happened, Dad? Oh, I'm sure not, Timmy. It's early morning. 
The air's clear. Well, maybe they got lost. Or flew the wrong direction. Or maybe they're just plain tired. What about the downdrafts? Or the tar pits? Could have been a hawk or a hunter. Timmy, if you and Lassie are going in for this racing, you're just going to have to learn to practice patience. Oh, Mom. No, I mean it. If there's this much tension with the trial run, <laughs> heaven help us tomorrow. Lassie! Lassie, wait for me! I think we better all just wait right here at the loft. You let Lassie do the scouting around. She's okay, Timmy. She's okay. Dad? Dad, look. Take it easy, boy. You lost a wing feather. Yeah, you're right, Timmy. Oh, no. Well, what does that mean? It means that Goldwing is automatically eliminated from the big race. Oh, dear. I wonder how it happened. I'm sorry, Lassie. I know just how you feel, girl. Don't you worry. Lady Bird will win for us. For both of us, for you and for me. Luck? No, we've looked everywhere for her. I can't understand it. I just can't understand it. It isn't like Lassie to do a thing like this to me. We better get going or we're going to be late. Maybe we'll see her along the way. Well, all I can say is Lassie's going to have a hard time explaining this. I'll take the back road. We'll find her somewhere. Come on.
There she is. Look at her. She's just standing there. You're happy you almost made us late. All right, Lassie, jump in. Good morning. Good morning, sir. You have an entry? Yes, sir. Your name? Timmy Martin. Do you come from around here? No, sir. About 50 miles away from Galverton. Uh, there is a fee. Yes, sir. I know. Have it right here. Up here. Oh, oh, here's the clock. thing that has ever happened to me in my entire life. All right, young man. Uh, your entry's number. MC 21038. Well, everything's all set. Now you just turn over your entry to the committee man. He'll band it for the race. And good luck. Thank you. Oh, Chuck, here's another one. Right this way, folks. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is my son's first registered race. <laughs> Mine, too. Well, yours is the only entry from Calverton. Yes, sir, I know. I'd sure like to take that trophy back to Calverton. Well, here's luck. <laughs> oh, Lassie, what is the matter with you? Maybe I better explain what happens. The pigeons are banded, placed in shipping baskets, and then turned over to an express company for delivery to the point of liberation. See you in Calverton, Ladybird. The concourse secretary will notify you as to the time of liberation. Now, may I have your clock, please? Now, this is the most important part of all. When your bird appears over your loft, signal it in quickly. Then remove the brass band which we will have placed around its leg. And immediately, Insert it in the timer of the clock. Yes, sir. I understand. That's the only way your entry's time will be officially recorded. Now I'll have to seal the clock. Dad, are you sure the concourse secretary said liberation 10 a.m.? I'm sure. Timmy, you were sitting right there when Dad took the call. Three, two, one, they're off! Ladybird's 
in the lead. She should be home by this time. Yeah, I know. Could she have followed a pigeon to another loft? It's unlikely. Maybe she got lost. Well, if she did, sooner or later she's got to stop somewhere. She's banded, and anyone finding her would report it to the society. Timmy, look. Ladybird! Come on, Ladybird! Come on! Come on, Ladybird! Let's go. Pick her up, girl.
Again. 